besties, I'm Gabby. And I'm Zach. And today we're gonna do one of my favorite things. We're gonna play some games with our friends. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get started. All right, today we get to play some mini games. We'll each take turns punching these boxes behind us and then we'll compete with whatever challenge is in that box. <laughs> okay, which, which one should I punch? Hmm, maybe like the top. Right one? Top right? Okay, I'll go punch it. You ready? Yeah. Wow! Look at this! It's a box of Kleenex! I love that game! All right, in this game, we each get two tissue boxes, and whoever empties both of their boxes first is the winner. All right. Ready? Yep. Set, go! <laughs> yeah! That's a lot of tissues! Oh, you're doing one at a time? Oh, hold on. Ew! Don't! Ew! <laughs> oh, I dropped that. I did! You're done? I did it! Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Here it is. Oh. That was so fun! That was super fun. All right, I'm excited to see what's in the next box. Okay, are you gonna go punch it? Yes, I Which guess one? I am. Which one? I'm gonna do the bottom blue one. Okay, all right. Oh, the clock's so cute, I don't wanna hurt it. Whoa! <laughs> wow. That was a good punch. See what's, in there. what's in there? Wow! Oreos? Yay! I love cookies. All right, guys, for this next mini game, we have to balance a cookie on our foreheads and we have to try and move it to our mouths and eat them without using our hands. It's gonna be difficult. Are you ready to try? I guess so, okay. it's crazy. I'm gonna take my glasses off. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, I'm a pirate. <laughs> okay, this is, oh, that's really difficult, okay. Oh. I'm gonna try again, try again. It's another one. It's on my cheek. What oh. is the right path? It's really close. My eyes got. Oh. Oh, These Oreos are nice. slippery. I want to eat it so bad. I know, I just want to eat it. <laughs> oh, oh no! It touched my tooth! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is... Okay, you ready for this flip? I'm gonna flip it. Flip it? And it's gonna go right into my mouth. Ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that was close! That was really no. close! <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it off my eye. I think it's in my eye. Oh, that was so close. Oh. Did you do it? You did it! I can't believe you did it! Look at <laughs> Wow, that was really I don't I don't even know how you did it. I was I was not watching, but I have to eat it. You do have to eat it. Congratulations. While you're doing that, I'm gonna go punch another box, okay? Okay, I'm gonna punch the bottom right one. Alrighty? Here we go. Well, here we go. This is our next mini game. We've got solo cups and some balloons. In this game, we're gonna grab one of these balloons and we're gonna blow it up and try to move these cups into a big stack. And whoever stacks their cups first wins. All right, that sounds easy enough. And go. Man, you're good at this. Oh no. You know else, what else I'm good at? What? <laughs> oh no! What do I do? <laughs> you knocked over your stack. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Last cup for me. I'm about to win. did it. Yes. Let's try our new mini game. You want to yes. punch the last box and see what our next game is? Yeah, here we go. All right, here we go. Goodbye. That was a good punch. <laughs> and. All right, there is frosting and cotton balls. What are we going to do with those? Let's see. Okay, guys, for our last mini game today, we've got cotton balls, frosting, and a bowl here. So what we're going to do is we are going to dip our noses into our plate of frosting and we're going to use the frosting on our nose to pick up a cotton ball 
and drop it into our bowl, okay? So the first person to get 10 cotton balls into their bowl wins. On your mark, get set, go. Nose. <laughs> it works! Hello. No, it didn't work for you. One for me. Oh no. Oh. Two, I got two. This one's really stuck on there. That's five. I have five. How many do you have? I have two. Now I have three. <laughs> I got two. Watch out. I'm gonna hold my hair back. Okay, that's fine. One, two, three, four. Aha! You got two again? Yeah. Nine. I have nine. One more for me. No, I stick them on too well. Aha! Come on! I did it! I did it! I got all ten. You got cotton on your face. I do. <laughs> Well, that was a little messy, but it was fun, huh? Yeah, I got a lot of frosting in my hair. You did. Oh, gosh. Oh, great job, though. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love playing games with my friends. Me too. And now it's time for the Creation Corner, where we'll get some clues about today's Bible story all about the best friend ever, Jesus. Let's check it out. Hi, everyone. Today, we're gonna decorate a scrapbook page to celebrate our best friend, Jesus. This will help us remember our Bible story. For decorating our scrapbook, we'll need some pictures, a glue stick, some stickers, and some crayons. First, we'll add pictures to today's Bible story. We'll use the glue stick to glue the pictures in order. This will help us remember how today's story goes. The order of the pictures is Jesus being tempted when he was hungry, Jesus in Jerusalem, and Jesus up on a mountain. Let's glue down the picture of Jesus when he was hungry first. Now we'll glue the picture of Jesus in Jerusalem. And last, we'll glue down the picture of Jesus being tempted up on the high mountain. Once you've glued your pictures, you can add whatever stickers you like, or even use some crayons to color or write something amazing about Jesus. This scrapbook page reminds us of how amazing Jesus is. He's the best friend ever. And today's Bible story is all about him. So everyone stand on your feet. It's time to jump into the Bible. One, two, three, jump. Come and see the temptation of Jesus. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. Jesus was baptized by John and God showed John that Jesus was his chosen one. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness among the wild animals. Oh, hey there, friend. Oh, what time is it here? Forty days and forty nights, Jesus didn't eat anything. So he was hungry. Satan came to him and said, Hey! If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus knew God's word, and so he answered, No! The word of God says people don't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so Jesus passed the first test. Then Satan took him to Jerusalem and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off. Aww. For the word of God says he will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Wait. But Jesus said, The word of God also says you must not test the Lord your God. Ow. And so Jesus passed the second test. 
So Satan took him to the peak of a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their glory. Satan said, I will give it all to you if you kneel down and worship me. But Jesus said, Get out of here, Satan, for the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. <laughs> then Satan went away, and angels came and took care of Jesus. And so Jesus passed the third and last test. I love that Bible story. Me too. And now it's time for super speed trivia. So everyone stand up, put on your thinking caps, and get ready to show us what you remember from today's story. Trivia. Why was Jesus hungry? Because he didn't eat for 40 days and 40 nights? Or because he forgot a snack? If you think the answer is because he didn't eat for 40 days and 40 nights, clap your hands. Or if you think the answer is because he forgot a snack, stomp your feet. Jesus didn't forget a snack. That's right. Jesus didn't eat for 40 days and nights. Who came to tempt Jesus? Satan or a penguin? If you think the answer is Satan, clap your hands. Or if you think the answer is a penguin, stomp your feet. That's right, Satan came to tempt Jesus. What did Jesus use to help him beat every test? Fancy gems or God's word? If you think the answer is fancy gems, clap your hands. Or if you think the answer is God's word, stomp your feet. Jesus didn't use fancy gems to help him beat every test. That's right, Jesus used God's word. Awesome job, everyone. You can sit down now. As we all saw, Jesus was tempted, but Jesus beat every test. Jesus is amazing. Jesus was a human and he's also the son of God. Jesus came to the earth as a promised savior for everyone, and he showed so many times how powerful he was. That's right. And Jesus loves us no matter what. That's why he is the best friend ever. I have so many cool friends, like all of you, but Jesus is my best friend. Hey, I think we just got our big idea. Jesus is my best friend. Let's say that together. Jesus, Jesus is, is my, my best friend. friend. One more time. Jesus, Jesus is, is my best, best friend. friend. Awesome. I think we should all celebrate Jesus with a little dance party. Everyone stand up and dance with us. Hit it, DJ. Mm -hmm.